to you by Visions Smoke Shop and Backdoor Tattoo Studio. This is in the 125 pound professional weight class. Introducing first, fighting out of the headgear MMA blue corner. He is an MMA fighter with a professional record of five wins and three losses. He is representing SBG Idaho and fighting out of Boise Idaho. frame there. Corrales one and one, Ortega five and three. He's looking strong there, Corrales. Is. Both fighters feeling each other out very quick. He's called Speedy for a reason. He's got good movement. In and out, back and forth. Nice with a single. Whoa, the takedown. Very nice takedown by Corrales in his own corner. Corrales is looking for the merit here. Ortega's in a bad position here. He's holding on. And with the speed of uh, Corrales, that's a good idea here to hold on so he doesn't get it. There it is. Nice move, push away, but you might get to take down again here. There it goes again. Yep, right back, more of the same. Corrales is not letting him have any kind of, any way. Corrales keeping it, or take his head right up into the fence there, taking away his hip mobility. Alex looking to step over and pass that guard. Steps back. Oh, he gets up his back. That's not a good sign. You should never give up your back, especially to somebody like Corrales. This could be over. Corrales is giving it to Ortega in his own corner. This would be a very nice win for Corrales. Corrales needs to turn it on right here and slug it out. It's go time. He chooses to take the back. He gets that other hook. It could be over here. I don't know if he's got it, honestly. No, he doesn't I don't need think it. so. Ortega's, just, Ortega's giving it up. There it is. Yeah, Ortega doesn't look like he's putting up much of a fight from the bottom, which is not good for him. At this weight and at this speed and at this level, you, you can't stop and pause like this. You can't not stand this Not at all. Spot. I don't know what's wrong. or if Referee just... Sean Gregory watching close, but it is a main event. It is a title fight, and it is a pro fight. Or no, I'm sorry. Not a title fight. Forgive me. Uh, it's a pro fight. Ortega seems like he's overwhelmed. He doesn't know what to do here. He does. He seems like he's mentally defeated. And he might be actually defeated here very soon. Oh, he's fighting out of it a little bit. I just think if he stays right here and Corrales turns it on, Gregory will stop it. Yeah, Corrales has to turn it on, otherwise Gregory is going to stand him up. Well, he's got back position and with the hooks in, he's not going to stand that up. That's a dominant position. The referee would never stop it with somebody with their back and hooks. He flattens him out though. He gets That's what you're here for, Cheeto. Thank you. 
if Corrales could flatten him out and straighten him out and get his <laughs> hips flat on the mat, that'll be, uh, he's working a choke, it looks like. I can't tell. Uh, Ortega's just turtling up here. It'll stay like this all through the round if he doesn't do anything. It's an easy way to lose a round, and we're talking about three five-minute rounds. It's an easy way to lose a fight with these guys. Absolutely. There it is. He's great. He's softening him up a little bit with those strikes. This is a five-minute round. We are talking about the pros. Morales just seems content just sitting back there and striking. It doesn't look like he's got that killer instinct to finish. I'm not sure what Ortega's game plan is at this point. Uh, I don't know if he's waiting and patiently wait. for Corrales to screw up, but... No, he's waiting for this round to be over. Corrales is literally hitting Ortega's backside like he's riding a horse. Both of them want to go to see another round, I think. But you can't do that because anything can happen. You've got to finish. Corrales should be trying to finish right here. throwing strikes, they could stop it for not because he's not answering. Ortega's not answering any of this, so you can stop it. Nothing. Referee Sean Gregory is a very fair ref, and he will not stop it unless he really feels like he I think, should. I think it's on bar. It's over. The round's uh, over. The round is, yeah, stay by the ball. Stay by the ball. It's too late. late. Growl should have started that a long time ago. But Ortega looks like he's only here to get paid. Ortega looks like a warm-up fight. <laughs> yeah, Ortega looks like he showed up just to make sure he don't, you know, that he gets paid. Um, no disrespect to Ortega, but he's not put up a fight, and he looks like he's really tired, honestly. Whereas the guy doing the most of the work, Corrales, in his own corner, is looking uh, like he's ready to go round two. Yeah, Ortega doesn't look like a pro to me. And yet he's got eight fights, which is six more than Corrales does in the pro ranks. Well, you know, it's not how many fights you got, it's who you fought that counts. Oh, and SBG out of Idaho, that's a jiu-jitsu school. He's been on the ground the entire first round. He's also been hit, hit in the head a number of times on the ground. That can, well, sometimes that can change you. You always have a game plan until you get hit in the head. That's right. <laughs> so oh! He's Ortega's coming out ready to strike, okay. Ortega's dropping his hands, though. You better watch out for Corrales. There is. Yeah, Corrales is trying to try. Oh, oh. And right back to the position. Ortega looks a little more, uh, a little more, uh, you know, energized this round. Hopefully, he just doesn't lay down and take it. He's going to fight. Oh. Takedown by Corrales. I think maybe he feels uh, Corrales' strength. He's in Ortega's corner now, which is to Ortega's advantage, but mm. I think Corrales will beat him whichever corner he's in. <laughs> well, both fighters working from top and bottom. Corrales clearly dictating the pace of this fight. Ortega gets up. He's got a good position here. He's doing what he can. Well, that's got one. Ortega doing a good job right now defending the takedown. He's working the takedown fence. Not enough. Well, it's just a matter of time. Ortega looking like he might try to be trying to submit him on that takedown. Oh. He's going up, up something. Corrales literally. Oh my gosh. Oh! What a turn of No! Corrales literally. Oh my god, the outside wow. of the fight. What is going wow. on? Wow! Wow, Corrales literally dragged his opponent into full mount. I don't think mount. I stop that. Was Corrales hurt? I don't think Corrales was hurt. You know, I, I don't disagree with it. I don't disagree with the stoppage. I think Gregory just saw a flurry of punches. He let, he let Ortega take that through the whole first round. Not to that excess. Not to that excess. 
That's a horrible, horrible tournament match. Right up. Bro, I told you at this level, anything can happen, and it did. Well, and Ortega was patient, and you got the win. <laughs> that explains it right there, how he's got those wins. Looks like Ortega was playing possum. And he waited to strike. And that's what happened. He let Corrales get too uh, comfortable. And uh, it looks like he played possum and got him with it. Well, and that is it. It's a great game plan. I mean, he's a pro. Wow. Wait, it's safe. I'm Heather Standing. And I'm Cheeto. Right now the fights from Budo Bend, Oregon. Yeah. We will see you for Budo Fights 13. Have a good night.